Welcome back to, to the, the Cardinal, Cardinal Church. Church. I'm Jesse. And I'm Olivia. And today we have a very special person we're going to interview very later on. Very special guest. But before that, we have some ground to cover. Um, how's your week been? My week has been great, Olivia. How's yours? Very slow. A lot to do. We, for girls and boys basketball, have been practicing like crazy. We actually have been having two days. We go from 5.30 to 7.30 in the morning. And then sometimes it's 3.30, 5.30, or 5.30, 7.30. But either way, it's a lot. That's crazy. When does um, when is your first game for boys basketball? Um, It's a turkey tournament in Cumberland. I think it's like Tuesday or Wednesday of Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And then the championship or like the final game will be Friday after that. So it's coming up. Yeah, it's quick. Yeah. That's exciting. Just, so, at least we finished conditioning. So yeah, make so sure nice. you keep up with that so that you can be there for their games because that's my favorite. I love going to basketball games. They're mm -hmm. super fun. So, well, yeah, because you used to cheer, so yeah. it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, this Friday, we actually have the Cardinal Tr the Meet the Cards. Meet the Cards. <laughs> this Not has been like church. a very – has it been a long tradition at North Carolina? I think I think – Josh and Roy started it, but I think it used to be a thing back in the day, but I'm not yeah. for sure. So you'll be able to come in and meet the cards, like it's called. So yeah, so like it's an inner squad scrimmage mm -hmm. with the girls basketball and the boys basketball. So the girls basketball will start it and they'll do their thing and then we end it with the guys and it's so much fun yeah. and a lot of people show. And I think the cheerleaders are doing their school song. To really? showcase to the school. That's yeah. good too. The cheerleaders are going to be there too. Yeah, it sounds they... like they've been practicing a lot too. Yeah, that. that's good. Uh, are the cheerleaders um, cheering the game? I'm not sure about that. I've they just heard do, them talking about They should about, do that and have opposite sides. Yeah, that would That'll be, be cool. Fun. That'll be really cool. As a little cool. practice run. But I've just yeah. heard them talking about that school dance. Like, you know what they do for, like, um, what is it? Super, uh, super cards? Mm -hmm. And they have opposite ones for a cheer. Yeah. We should do that for the, um, the <laughs> meet the cards. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So make sure you get out and support them and meet your Cardinals this year. Um, another thing that we kind of did last week was go on a broadcasting trip. Yes. You want to kind of tell a little bit about that? The broadcasting trip was really fun. Um, in the past years that we've done it, it's just been on a one-on-one -on -one thing. So our, only our school goes, and then we meet Kyle Peach. He's like the head of the broadcasting at Wabash Valley, and he's like – he was really good. He's he's a broadcaster. He's done like Olympic games, like World Series games, finals games. He's been in so much stuff. Um, but it was actually like a broadcasting day. So like Flora went, Robinson went, Mount Carmel obviously went. Um, and I, I like that better because there was so much more to do and it was more in depth. Mm -hmm. Like when we went by ourselves, it was two hours and it, was, it wasn't like – I liked it better because it was one on one, so we got more out of it. But there was so much more to do this yeah. time, and there was more speakers. There's yeah, three we, speakers. For we got to listen to like some keynote speakers about careers in social media, how they kind of got started with broadcasting. We got to um, tour the newsroom and actually be on air for a late night show that Wabash has. So that was really cool. Yeah, it, uh, we recorded the. He asked us, like, questions, yeah. like, just, like, street questions, basically, yeah. that's what he said. And we actually got on the radio, too. Um, Paris, did you get on the radio? Yeah, all yeah. of us did. All of us got on, and then Paris did, like, the music switch up, which was cool. I think she's um, an avid listener to The Bash. 89.1 so. <laughs> The Bash. So that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if we've posted about that yet on our Facebook Maybe. We'll get some photos yes. up from that or share in this video, but it was super fun. And I actually learned a lot. And in the spring, I think, is going to be an Emmy Awards. So we're going to see yes. if we can get Hopefully. the podcast on Make there. sure our podcast wins. Yep. And we're going to try to win some that, awards. That'll be awesome our first year. And then we, if we if we get the chance to win, like that'll just be yeah. really good for yeah. our first year doing it. For sure. So now it's time for our interview with Mr. Price. So Very I'm going to tell a little guest. bit about him. Uh, he just went from principal to superintendent, and he has been loving over there. And today he's just going to tell us a little about how it's going and how he got there. Yeah, so let's hear from him. So today we have Mr. Price, our superintendent. Um, he is our third admin, is that right? Third admin that we have on the Cardinal yeah. trip today? Mm-hmm. We will be interviewing him just like the others, just like Mr. Wyatt. And Miss Newby. And Miss Newby. <laughs> Don't forget Miss Newby. Miss Newby is awesome. Yeah, 
yeah, so we're just going to ask a couple questions, and then you can ask us some questions if you want to. We have some fun ones. And, yeah. So our first question was, what was your journey kind of like to get to where you are today? In education, I guess. Yeah. Here I am. Uh, wow. Um, I guess uh, looking back, what got me interested in, into uh, history and social science, which was my, uh, what was my degree in, in, in college, um, you know, I, I love presidential elections. I was always fascinated by debates and uh, news when I was growing up. We didn't have uh, uh, cable television, so we didn't have, you know, 100 channels like you guys have today. Um, so when, you know, there was a presidential debate that was on television, every television network carried that program. And I loved watching TV when I was younger, so if I was watching TV, I was watching the news uh, or, or, or debates. So, um, and I had some great teachers. Uh, I went to Freebury High School, and uh, uh, Mr. Bloomberg was my, my history teacher, and uh, he had a great passion for, for history and teaching, so uh, that kind of got my interest into that. I had a current events class when I was in high school, and uh, what I quickly learned that uh, I, you could share your ideas and your thoughts. There wasn't one particular right answer in a social science class or a current events class, so I felt like uh, you know, the classroom discussions uh, were very interesting and fascinating to me. Mm -hmm. um, compared to uh, other courses where there might have been one exact right answer. Everyone had the ability to share uh, their ideas and that was all part of a great classroom. Um, and then I went on to EIU to get uh, my history and social science major, the double major. And uh, my first year teaching was actually at North Clay here in 2001. Mm -hmm. So um, I didn't really know where Clay County was at the time uh, when I got the job here. but. Uh, in 2001, you know, you, uh, you know, in education, jobs were very, very uh, difficult to get, and uh, so you felt very fortunate to get a teaching position. And came to North Clay and uh, taught here for two years. I taught social science, uh, taught uh, geography and, and government and U.S. history. Helped coach the baseball team with uh, uh, Coach uh, Josh Sink on my first year here, and uh, and then I taught for 11 years at Redbud High School. That was my about 20 miles south of where I where I uh, grew up and, um, and then in 20, 2014 had the chance to come back here at North Clay as, as, as principal and, and I took that opportunity and, and it's been a great journey. Yeah, so how has that transition been going from principal to superintendent then? Uh, it's been uh, a really good uh, transition. Of course, Travis Wyatt was superintendent and uh, he didn't retire until September 30th. So we had a couple months of overlap time and that was uh, a great blessing. Uh, to be able to work with him very closely on different things. So that made for a really good transition. Um, you know, a, as a building principal, you're in, the, you're in the building and you're in the office. And even when you're in your office, you see a lot of traffic flow. You see students every second. You see a parent coming through. You see teachers making copies. And you're in the hallways, passing periods, and you're very involved uh, in that. Uh, as superintendent, uh, the, the, big, the big shift is you know, uh, especially learning the position, coming in brand new into the role, uh, it's, um, you know, you, you see, you're, you're, you tend to be at first involved directly less with the students and that's been a big, a big change. Yeah. Um, um, so I'm looking forward to, you know, being more uh, with the students and things like that as I get more experienced and, because um, right now it seems like uh, my attention is very drawn into learning the different things about budget and tax levy. Mm -hmm. Um, and all those different kinds of things. Um, so once I become more familiar with those areas, uh, I feel like I'd be uh, you know, maybe uh, I, maybe more connected with the students than the, like I would like to be. Mm -hmm. uh, going with that, what is your favorite part about superintendent that you didn't have as principal? Um, well, um, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what I like better about Yeah, being, like what's, what's your favorite part, I guess? Um, I think I get to see a, a, a broader overview of all programs and, and students uh, K-12. Uh, whereas as a high school principal, you're, you're at the high school uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you're, not, you're not involved in the different areas of the lower grades. Uh, but as superintendent, you really see the, the nuts and bolts of how a district um, gets programs off the ground. As, as principal, you execute the programs mm -hmm. that the superintendent uh, and, and the school board uh, helps to uh, make possible. And that's a big difference too uh, between principal and superintendent 
that's how closely we work, work with the school board. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a great school board here, a uh, very experienced school board, and uh, they, they work well together. And, um, but so seeing that, that dynamic is, is a big, big difference from, from when, you were, when I was principal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, what is your, or what made you go into education in the first place? Then? Okay. Um, yeah, I think going back to originally the passion that uh, I felt with history and social science. Um, you know, for example, uh, this month is the 60th anniversary of the JFK assassination. Mm -hmm. So those kinds of events, uh, I'm kind of fascinated by and how they impacted our country and and uh, and and and, our, and, our, and the people of our country. So, you know, just being fascinated by those different uh, historical events, that's what got me interested in the, in the teaching and uh, helping to bring that, uh, that passion and, and interest to, uh, to, to students. Um, you, it's like you're obviously superintendent now. When you first were out of college and looking for a teacher job, did you ever think you would become a superintendent or, or a principal? No, no, I didn't. I didn't always, uh, I wasn't thinking about the next the next, next level. step. Yeah. I, I wasn't really, um, and that's kind of how I approach things. Um, you know, when I was, just an example, when I was uh, when I was teaching at, at Redbud High School when I had gotten the position here, so those few months that I was still a teacher, but everyone knew I was going to be leaving, mm -hmm. uh, I had a student of mine that said, uh, Mr. Price, I, 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 can't, I can't see you as principal. And, and my response was, well, it, it's because I'm not a principal here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a firm believer in that, you know, when you're in the position that you're in, you, you need to give it your all. Uh, give it everything that you have, because uh, if you're thinking about that next level, you know, I, I never thought about the position that I'm in being a stepping stone to go into something else. I think if you do that, you discount the time that, that, uh, that, you're, that, that you're doing uh, at the time in, in what you're doing. So, you know, focus on, on, I've always wanted to focus on what I'm doing, because when I was principal, I wasn't thinking superintendency. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a teacher, I wasn't thinking principalship, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, you know, if you focus on what you're doing, uh, I feel like you, uh, you're more effective, I feel, at, at what you're doing at, at, at the time. Mm -hmm. So what piece of advice would you give us? Kind of like that would be a good piece of advice, not to really look for what's coming next, but just us as in high school, what piece of advice would you give us? Well, um, gosh, I, I think that uh, as a high school student in today's world, um, dream big and think big. Um, you know, if you think small, you're going to end up doing small things. But uh, always be thinking about, uh, you know, what you can be doing and, and um and, and follow your passion and what you have, um, because I found that you know, as I, even though I originally got into education, in the sense of um, you know my passion for the content area, you know, when you get into the classroom, you quickly realize that it's not really about the historical topic. Uh, if you're an English teacher, it's not about necessarily the uh, the novel that you're reading. If you're a math teacher, it's not about the math equation that you're doing. Uh, it's really about the students that you have in the classroom. Um, so that's why I'm a firm believer that when I got into one of the first things I did at North Clay when I got here in 2001, uh, my first experience with students was not in the classroom, but it was on the baseball field. Mm -hmm. You know, so building those relationships and, and focus on that, you know, um, I think is important because as, as an educator, you walk into the room, you know, if you're thinking about the lesson plan that's in your hand because I, I was that teacher at first yeah. you know I, I walked into the classroom my first year at North Play and I had the lesson plan in my hand you know and I wanted to follow it exactly um, but you got to sometimes put down that lesson plan and first connect with the kids mm -hmm. you know and I quickly learned that that, that that that's that's where the difference is made because I think Travis Wyatt would always say this he said that uh, you know the students have to learn how much you care about them before they care about what you say you know, so if the, if the students don't take to you and they don't, you know, like you and respect you, um, they're not going to want to learn mm -hmm. from you. And, and that's the same uh, thing that no matter where you go, whether you're doing um, a job in education or you have a job, um, uh, you know, in the, owning, owning your own business, for example, uh, you need to, you know, when the customer walks in, uh, when the people you work with, uh, when, you, when you go to work, that's building those connections and that's what makes makes it a great place.
We also had some fun we had questions. Some fun sure. questions. So, Jesse, you and I. You mean, you mean these weren't fun questions already? Yeah. Well, they were fun, <laughs> but more casual. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite DQ drink? DQ drink. Now, I did not get a DQ drink for a long, long time because I I try not to drink soda. It's a okay. weird thing, but I, I haven't drank soda in, in a long time. Um, but uh, it's only been maybe a year or two ago when I had my first D DQ drink, honestly. Uh, and strawberry sweet tea hmm. is what I, what I got. So. Strawberry sweet tea. I think we've had like a Sprite Zero. I'm not sure. M Mr. White, he had some weird ones. Yeah. Like, was <laughs> There's been some weird combinations <laughs> yeah. here, but. It was like, didn't he say chocolate? Yeah, a lot of people put chocolate in their Cokes. Chocolate Coke, that's what he said. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, I think what's funny about Dairy Queen is that uh, there are people who go to other other Dairy Queens around, like, like you know, I, I grew up in the Belleville area. And you try going to a Belleville Dairy Queen and ask for a marshmallow chocolate Coke. <laughs> yeah. They'll probably kick you out. Yeah. You know, they're not going to know what you're talking about. So we're, we're very fortunate to have Dairy Queen. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, then what is your favorite hobby? Wow. Um, well... Uh, my wife and I, we have five kids, um, so my hobby very much is, uh, you know, um, taking care of uh, children and, and, and doing things with, with, with our kids is, is uh, one thing that I really enjoy doing. Uh, if I could pick a, a hobby of something that I would do, maybe, you know, not involving my, my, my family uh, or my kids, something, something just for me would be uh, uh, finding time to read about uh, any historical event. Uh, for example, I'm, I'm reading a book right now on um, uh, the JFK assassination. Mm -hmm. um, so, finding time to read a book, uh, if, the, the, if the book's like that thick, <laughs> you know, if, if, if I sit down to read, I might read like two pages and then someone needs me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it takes me a long time to get through a thick book, um, but finding time to do that is, is, is really nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you for coming on and talking to us. Uh, hold on. Do you have any questions for us? Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, first of all, I think I think this uh, Cardinal Church program is a great, great program. Thank I think, you. I think it really does. Uh, you know, when I, you know, when I think about a program uh, or an educational program that uh, you know really allows students to showcase their talents and uh, show their creativity uh, and, and those kinds of things, um, I think is a great, uh, great thing. Um, so yeah, th so through this program, your, your Cardinal Chirp, what have you guys learned uh, throughout this, now that you were about a, a couple months in here? Just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. We started a podcast on the third week of school. Yep. That was, that was really, that was a lot. We didn't get our first thing posted until like two weeks after, Yeah. something like that. There were some bumps along the way. But. I mean, we we didn't even have Olivia at the start of the year. She joined September. Yeah, I dropped a class so I could be in here because <laughs> I really have a passion for this stuff, and I Ma thought it was important. Maya didn't join until just with you. I don't think she's in the class. She's not in the <laughs> class, but, like, she helps a lot. Yeah. Miss um, Newby, she really, like, just told us to just go with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely getting out of our comfort zones is like yeah. big in this class. Um, I started off just doing the social media and running those pages, and then now I'm behind the camera most days. So mm -hmm. definitely just putting myself out there has been a huge part of this class. Well, I think that's something that um, you can apply to most anything. Sometimes in life we often overthink things, mm -hmm. and we think, well, if I do this, then what if that happens? And people sometimes are very hesitant. To, to go out and try yeah. things. Uh, but if you put yourself out there and try new things and, mm -hmm. and less thinking about it, just go out and do it. Yeah. Um, so I think this is a great example of that. Any more questions? <laughs> well, um, you guys are both seniors, right? So uh, what's uh, what do you guys see yourself uh, uh, accomplishing here at the end of the school year? Uh, between now and, and May, what do you guys hope to get done? My biggest goal is to finish top of the class, like top 10, somewhere around there. I've always oh, had high good. grades. Like, yeah. I always strive to be the best that I can. So yeah. definitely finishing good and, you know, making the most of senior year. I just hope I can make the best out of the sports that we have. I'm in sports from the first day of school to the last day of school. Mm -hmm. Like, baseball ended 
Friday night, basketball started Monday morning. Like, I just hope I can just make the most out of that because I'm not going to play after high school so I can make the most of it. Good. Good. All right. All right. There's nothing else. There's nothing else. Yeah, no, I appreciate uh, what you guys are doing and um, even uh, behind the camera and uh, everyone in this in this class is doing it. It's a great thing. Thank you for thank you for coming to on. Us, yeah, sure. Us Anytime. Going out of your way. And then thank everyone watching for listening to the Cardinal, Cardinal Church. Church.